guess what came from Bays and Bricks? Beyblade launcher. Shoot coronized baby launcher. And shoe coronized Beyblade grip. This is a WBBA uh, shoes launcher grip. So that is kind of cool right there. And we got shoes launcher, uh, DB launcher. So let's go ahead and get this going. Again, WD WBBA. So it's official. Oh, look at that grip. It has the rubber grips right here. So that's great. It's nice and official. That's one way to open the box. Oh, come on. Let's get that launcher out of there. Oh, look at this. Actually, no, no, let's put it on properly. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's so smooth. No, seriously, though, like, this grip is so long. Yeah, pretty good. All right, let's test it already. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. Only thing that bothers me is that they use slightly different plastic. Of course, they use a stronger plastic for, for later on stuff use, so... Yeah, it's a given, but the pink, the color coloration is slightly different, but that's gonna... I don't care. I don't really care that much. Let's launch... World Spri World Spriggan. Three, two, one, let it Come on. Counter break. Oh, that's beautiful. And the reason why I got this, well, come with me. That's right, it's free spin moving. Now you're, now you're moving. Well, where are we now? Well, right here. This right here. Who am I going as for Halloween? Shuker and I. Let's go. That's right, I got a pink shirt to wear and a black tie. And that's why I got shoes launcher set. Not the reason why I got the Beyblade, the reason I got the Beyblade was because of the uh, Nexus Plus S, the S gear, but. Yeah, either way, I still have World Spriggan too, so that's cool. Either way, this is going to be a nice year for Halloween. And tomorrow is also uh, dress up as a character day, so this came in right at the time. So, that's cool. And everyone's like, where do you get it? Where do you get it? I got it at Bays and Bricks. Shout out to the people at Bays and Bricks. Really good uh, two-day delivery. A little bit past two-day delivery, but that's a gimmick considering I ordered it Saturday and kind of late Saturday. So, they had to get all their shipping through. And plus, I had to go through customs for from California all the way here. Because their location is in custom is in California, so yeah, shipping they have to take a whole bunch of tests and whatnot because it's stupid laws over there, but oh well. Here we are. Oh, let's do a left spin, actually. Let's do a left spin. Alright, to get to the left spin, just like any other DB launcher, just come, take it off, flip it around. And get it fit on. There we go. I got stuck it for a second. There we go. It's had a little bit of issues, but that's sort of tight there. So yeah, it's better in right spin. Let's let's put this in left spin mode here as well, so we can get some good launches.
There we go. Perfect. Three, two, one, let it rip. Now it's in counter break. Let's give it a stronger launch. All right, so that's pretty good. Oh, well, this popped off one second. There we go. It has a little bit of a problem with the DB launchers, but yeah. Come on, give me a break there. There we go. That's better, that's better. Yeah, it's a right spin mode now, so. Where I put Astral Spriggan. There it is. Three, two, one, let it rip. Yeah, I think it's best in right spin mode, so I'm gonna have to get. So I'm probably gonna be using a World Spriggan. Actually, let, let me just do this. I mean, yeah, it's technically launcher review, but I never try this. Okay, yeah, it looks ridiculous. The Quattro is a little bit too tall. Quattro is technically a high driver by technicality. All right. Astral Spryzen. Well, Spriggan, right spin attack. Come on. Three, two, one, let. Okay, so the launcher has a few issues. It is a little bit tight, so I'm going to have to loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit too tight onto the launcher. So I will I will have to loosen that up. So that is a little bit worrying, but then again they did tighten it pretty good in Japan where they where or wherever they manufacture it in China or whatever. Pretty good though. Overall, I rate ten out of ten. Great launcher, great launcher grip overall too. It has great rubber grip right there. That is really good. Launcher's okay. I think if I loosen it up, it'll be a little bit looser in the center. And if I need to, I can always loosen up the center so that it can recoil a little bit better. That's it for me. See you guys in the next one. Bye.